but you get to meet a real hero, and, and we're thrilled to have you with us. Thank you, thank you. And well, what was uh, described and what we all read about, the, the horror of all of this, it really seemed as if it was clear that going about the business of rescuing people was not a safe endeavor at all. What made this, this storm different? I think this storm was different um, because of where it hit in downtown Buffalo and the, the northern suburbs, um, very densely populated, um, and that made it a, a little bit more difficult for us. I think the conditions themselves, the wind, the snow, all of that combined made it a lot more difficult on the first responders. Can you tell us exactly um, what happened? As far as... As far as you saving those um, people who were in their cars. We were dispatched to some locations that had uh, folks that were recorded as trapped by the storm. Uh, and as we were driving through uh, in our specialized equipment, uh, my crew did an amazing job navigating the streets. Um, it was not just me at all. Um, they did a fantastic job getting us to where we needed to be. Uh, to be in the right place at the right time. Are you going to, uh, uh, you know, they say that somebody who is um, responsible for rescuing someone feels responsible for that person's life for the rest of their lives. Are you going to be in touch with those folks? Unfortunately, we didn't always get their names. Um, well, they're not going to forget wait, you, wait. are they? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, but um, there are a couple that we did get, so I, I'd love to stay in touch. As, as long as we can. So, well, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you Fantastic. so much, John. Very nice Bacon. to meet you. Yeah. No Thanks a lot. Happy New Year. Me too. Thank Happy you. Year. Well, Thank let's you. go back to New York City, where our.